going to investigate the temperature rise of a known mass of water when we are burning fuel. So it's the combustion of different alcohols. Um, so I've got a few here. We've got ethanol, propanol and butanol. There is a fourth we can test which is pentanol. I'm just going to be using these two today. The fuels are seen in a spirit burner. So the fuel is stored at the bottom. A wick is soaked in it and what we would do is we would set a light to the wick at the top and that would burn the fuel and use up the fuel. I'm going to have a conical flask set up on a clamp stand. We're going to need to measure out 100 centimetre cubed of water using a measuring cylinder. So again, we're coming down to eye level to make sure we can measure the bottom of the meniscus. and we'll pour that into the conical flask. This has got to be cold water, fresh from the tap, because we're going to be heating it up. And you will then need to measure the starting temperature, which is reading at 21 degrees Celsius, and we'll record that into a table. We need to know the starting temperature so we can see how much it has increased by. Okay, so if we use our first fuel now, which is ethanol, you're going to need to weigh it on a balance with the cap on it and you will record what the mass of the spirit burner and the cap is together before the practical. We will then put that beneath the conical flask. Now what you're going to need to be able to do, which is why I've got two set up here, because this is for my next one, for propanol, you're going to need to make sure that they are the same height. Now just by looking, we can see they're not the same height, but you could always use a ruler just to check. So from the bottom here, that's looking at about 16 centimetres. This one is 15, so we'd need to lift this one slightly until it was at the same height a little bit too much. That's about right, okay. Um, that's important because the closer the flame is to the water, the quicker it will heat it up and the less fuel it will use. So it's going to affect our results. So they must be the same height. And we've also got the same amount of water. It's 100 in each, okay. So now we can um, set the fuel alight. And we're going to leave that in until the temperature has increased by about 40 degrees. So we're looking for a 40 degree increase. It was on 21 to start with, so we're going to stop it around 60 degrees. After that time, we can record the final temperature and we will weigh the spirit burner again. Now, um, some of the methods that we use include a, a draft excluder. So this reason is because you can see at the minute the flame is, is, it's not a tall flame. What we're going to make sure is that the flame is the same each time, the same height to make it a fair test so we can compare the results. But also the draft excluder will make sure that the flame isn't moving. Because if, if we get a draft in it could blow it to one side which means that the heat that is touching the bottom of the water isn't going to be uniform in each experiment. So some, some methods include a draft excluder, which would ensure that any draft, any wind from doors and windows wouldn't be affecting the height of the flame or the intensity of the flame. Okay, so I'm gonna just whiz through that a minute. Imagine that's now on 60. We'll put the lid onto the spirit burner, record the temperature on there at 60, and we would re-weigh the fuel and you will see that it should be a lower number. You'd record that in your table. You're then going to need to either get another conical flask with some fresh cold water in it or empty this out um, and re refill it with some more cold water. I've got one here that we've already prepared and you will get your next one, propanol. Again, 
you would wait at the start with the cap on you would then take it over we've already checked the height of these being the same we've already checked that we've got a hundred centimeter cubed and actually if you look at the two sides of the wicks they're of a similar height there's not one that is longer than the other so again we can set fire to this one and let that heat up the water again you're looking for a 40 degree rise so it was 21 to start with again we're looking for it to heat up to about 60 and then we would weigh 